Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I wanna talk about one of my favorite Magnum handgun powders, and that's Alliant 2400. Alliant 2400 is great for a couple reasons. One, it meters really good because it's got a small granule size, and it also offers some of the best versatility in the ability to reduce your loads below maximum. And in this video, I wanna talk about three different load levels that I've put together for the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And if you haven't already seen it, you're gonna to wanna to see a couple videos that I did covering the RCBS Pro Checker 5 and the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum and Special load setups that I put together. And I even machined my own spacers here that enable me to quickly switch between 500 Smith & Wesson Special Brass and 500 and Smith & Wesson Magnum Brass, which are both offered by Starline and that's what I'm using here for this particular loading session is Magnum Brass Starline 500 Smith & Wesson and I'm also using of course Alliant 2400 we're using Federal 210 large rifle primers and we're using Hornady 350 green XTP mag bullets now a word of caution Alliant 2400 is great for reduced power loads but if you get carried away like I did today you can stick the bullet in in the bore of your handgun and I went way way too far down and actually the bullet was only uh, probably less than an inch out of the forcing cone into the rifling and I was able to take a brass punch and very carefully tap it back out good thing it didn't stick most of the way down otherwise I would have had a lot more work to do and I had to be really gingerly so always work with loads that are in the proper range and after a bunch of experimentation what I found was that I started at 70% I maxed out at about 95% now the story there is I worked my way up to 100% but I had just a bit of stickiness of the cases in the cylinder on extraction and I didn't like that reducing it to 95% completely took care of that problem so I'm calling that kind of my, my own max load for this particular combination of firearm and bullet and components, the rest of those components. And I decided on 80% as kind of a middle ground. Now I, I, I shot some of these cartridges and I found that at the 95% level, fairly brutal, even with a 350 grain bullet, at 70% considerable re reduction in felt recoil and at 80% it's kind of right in the middle there. So what I thought would be fun to do would be to go out to the range, we're gonna put the Magneto Speed V3 on the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum and we'll chronograph these loads to see how they are gonna perform for us. Now at 100% or 95% uh, real clean burning and then a little bit less clean burning at 80, a little bit less clean burning at 70. Now this is still in generally the magnum range of power and if we're going to go down below that it's going to get dirtier and dirtier and less efficient and of course eventually you're going to stick a bullet. So if you need to go below that magnum range you're going to want to go to a faster powder and I have other videos including with, with uh, 500 Smith & Wesson Special and, and Trail Boss that kind of thing. Lots of different options and but when it comes to magnum power level Alignant 2400 is a great performer. So let's go out to the range, we'll see how it does. Ha! 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, here we come. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the 70% charge weight load. We'll shoot five of those and we'll move up to 80 and then we'll move up to 95 to see what we get. So let's see. So that's actually a really nice load. I actually like the way that that shoots a lot in terms of recoil. Let's see what we're, what we're at here. It's a, bit, it's a bit smoky inside the case. We got a few unburned granules, so not totally optimal. And it looks like we averaged 1139 feet per second. So I'm gonna go ahead and Clear my shots here. Okay. 
So let's take a look at 80. This is fun. Okay. Oh, a bit more kick there. Oh, we got a flyer. All right. Wow. You could feel the concussive forces there. The shock wave. Loving it. Okay, if I could just get a hold of my brass here. <laughs> Actually much cleaner inside. That looks that looks better for sure. And still still manageable recoil. And it looks like now we're up at 1,400 feet per second. So I'm going to go ahead and clear these shots. And we'll see where we're at with 95% charge weight. Can you feel it? Can you feel the recoil? I hope so. Because it's real. <laughs> okay, 95%. Can feel that. Wow. That's going to leave a mark. I'm having trouble not flinching, to be honest. Woo. Wow. I think I just shot that 4x4 four four post in half there. All right. Good extraction on all five here. That's a good sign. That means that uh, we're not over pressure and cleaner yet. So, you know, with 350 grain bullets, the 95% charge weight load is actually not bad at all. So this has been a, a cool experiment. I really like the Alliant 2400. Again, I use it in 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, now 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. It's a great powder that meters great and, and offers reduced power capabilities as long as you don't get carried away. So I hope you'll check out the other videos that I posted on 500 Smith & Wesson Special and Magnum Loading with the RCBS Pro Chucker 5. I made the quick change die shims for quick changes over between Special and Magnum. It's, it's a lot of fun and I'm gonna bring you some more 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum action here shortly as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any of the action here on GavinTube, please subscribe to my channel. Also, you can support me by buying one of these cool t-shirts. And finally, you can show your support on Patreon, patreon.com slash ultimate reloader. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.